So I've been thinking about implementing a series where on Thursdays I only talk about anime and just different things like different anime that I watched, how I feel about them. It's not really like rates and reviews but just in general. Um, favorite characters and different shows, different streaming services that I use so I can watch anime, the anime community, especially Twitter. Uh, so yeah. Welcome to Anime with Kali Sensei. Alright? So, um, today I felt like talking about the different streaming services that you can use so you can watch anime. I know a lot of people like to use the illegal websites, um like kiss anime and some other stuff i'm not big up on that because that's more for if you watch anime on your like phone or like your laptop all right computer whatever pc tablet all that extra stuff i'm not here for that because i watch my anime on my tv i don't feel like looking up a browser and searching in kiss anime and all these other different websites i'm not doing all of that especially when while i'm watching it tells me about hot singles near you i don't care i'm trying to watch naruto right now nobody cares about these hot singles that's near me that it's not really near me like come on that's an old white woman look at me i don't care all right and it's the ads that pop up you know it's not really uh safe all right i'm not mm -mm. i'm not getting no virus trying to watch all of that nope so because when i first started watching anime i was using netflix but netflix mm. has some good anime don't get me wrong it's just they don't never have the complete series of some stuff they don't have the complete series of naruto i think they just updated it where they do and naruto has been up there for years they don't have a complete series of bleach i think they just put two extra seasons on there um there's a bunch of different shows like uh there's a there's a show called k that doesn't have it doesn't have the second season and because netflix does that right I don't know if it's a licensing issue or whatever you have to go to a different thing a streaming service or a website just to watch it they i don't think they have the complete series of inuyasha on there so i had to that's when i started using a legal website but then i was like no let me just watch watch it on netflix or hulu so netflix is good for finding like just getting into an anime it does not matter if you watch it sub or dub, okay? That's your preference. If you want to hear English voice actors, go right ahead. If you want to hear the Japanese, go right ahead. It's up to you. Don't... Mm -mm. That's a debate for another day. But, um, Netflix is okay if you want to, like, start out and get into it. Because they do have some nice, um, nice shows up there. It's just if you want to watch certain shows they do not have the complete series you might want to do a little research to see how many series seasons it is like i had to watch i watched bleach on netflix then it stopped halfway through and then i had to go straight in the hulu and when i first watched bleach i was watching it dubbed and hulu only has it subbed after the last couple seasons so it was kind of a hard um a hard shift but Netflix is okay. I wouldn't say Netflix has the best anime, but they do have some, you know, some dope selections. Hulu is pretty cool, too. The only thing I don't like, you have to sit through commercials, which makes watching the show longer. I like to binge watch my shows, but Hulu definitely has um, Samurai Champ Champlo. I think that's how I'm saying it. I don't know. Um, um, Keiichi, the Mightiest Disciple um or kenshi i don't know can't remember the name but they have some dope shows on there if you really want to um they have a lot of older anime and hulu definitely has some stuff that funimation has licensed so even if you don't want to watch it on hulu you can watch it on funimation funimation does a free trial for seven days but 
they definitely have a lot of stuff Funimation is for if you want to watch dubbed or subbed but they mostly have dubbed um and uh Funimation usually has a licensing for a lot of stuff cause some shows are only exclusively for Funimation like Love is War and the uh, Millionaire Detective like stuff like that is specifically licensed through Funimation so if you want to watch those stuff those shows you can either use on a legal website or watch it on Funimation I choose Funimation um it's a free seven day trial and then I think the subscription is like seven eight dollars a month um I pay for I don't pay for my Netflix my my mom's phone bill pays for it uh and I don't pay for Hulu she pays for Hulu I pay for Funimation and Verve which is a connection through Crunchyroll but um Funimation is pretty dope they do have a, a large selection especially movie wise I just watched Akira the other day for the very first time so it was pretty dope um what else Crunchyroll, which is, you know, everybody know who Funimation and Crunchyroll is. They're the top two contenders with streaming services for anime. Crunchyroll definitely has a lot of, um, a, a big anime selection. They definitely have a lot of, uh, a lot of subbed. They have a couple dubbed, but not, like, exclusively. And, um, it's kind of like the same thing like Funimation. They have, uh, specific, you know, specific stuff is licensed through them, so they will only be the only they're the only place that's going to be showing that for a while until you know Funimation gets their hands on it or whatever especially like now since they're doing webtoon originals on um well Crunchyroll originals through webtoons so they're taking webtoon comics and making it into um animes so right now Tower of God is on there um and they exclusively have that Funimation can't be like yeah let's take Tower of God you know what I mean um there's a thing called high dive that definitely has a huge selection but i would say that's more for like mature anime like if some stuff you you know but they do have like a regular selection where you can watch regular stuff but they have more of the the mature content if you get my drift um and then there's a streaming service called and high dive i don't know if you could pay you have to pay for that i'm not sure i think it's a 30-day trial but i think you could just watch it on the website i've never really used it i only know of it because um crunchyroll has another streaming service called verve vrv which is uh it used to be a collab thing with um funimation and crunchyroll and a bunch of different other services like boomerang cartoon hangover uh Nickelodeon like Nick Splat or whatever like stuff like that but um Funimation decided not to collab with Country World like that anymore so they ended up bringing in High Dive so it has Verve has both of those selections like a huge anime selection um and then if you pay for Verve which is a 30 day free trial um you can connect it to your Country World if you pay for Country World you can connect it to Verve so you don't have to pay for more streaming services. Um, I pay for Funimation, Verve, and then I connected my Verve to Crunchyroll. Because Crunchyroll has select movies, select shows that's only on Crunchyroll, which I'm not understanding why it's not on Verve if it's the same thing, but whatever. Um, but, yeah. That's, those are the main streaming services that you can use to watch anime. But there's also a thing called Tubi TV, which um, is free. It's basically like um, Hulu when you have commercials through it. But they definitely have anime movies up there. Some anime shows uh, that you can like look up. It's you can put it on your phone. You can put it on the TV. Um, it's not that difficult. And there's another um, app called Pluto TV, which is free. Um, they have like an actual anime network channel on there like a couple of them where it plays like the same show all day or they have like different shows they play movies they it's pretty dope you know 
um, and they also have like an on-demand selection where it has anime but it's not like a huge selection of anime especially definitely like Tubi TV it's not a huge selection but they do have some some stuff on there if you do want to get into it uh, but their on-demand selection for Pluto TV is not it's not huge but you can definitely watch some shows I don't think it has commercials to it I think you could just actually sit there and watch the episodes but it's a pretty dope thing if you want to just you know you don't have to subscribe subscription to anything I don't I have it on my TV but I'm not subscribed to anything I could just click on it and watch whatever and they also have other stuff on there so yeah that's the different streaming services if you ever want to get into anime you know because these illegal websites all right if you downstairs on the computer watching it and your parents come in it's over for you because they're gonna see an ad that should not be up there you know what i mean it's <laughs> so you try to play it safe the best thing to do is get netflix hulu and even if you don't pay for it get somebody else's they definitely have anime account anime um content up there to really get into it youtube definitely has some selections but um somebody like uploaded it on there that's more for certain shows is not available on certain streaming apps like the first berserk that came out in like 1996 or 1997 that one is only on youtube you have to find somebody to upload it because it's kind of because now netflix and the other stuff only have berserk from like 2016 which people say is garbage i've watched the um original berserk um let's see they have it depends on you know what anime you want to search up if it's on youtube you can just watch it on youtube so yeah this has been anime with cali sensei and if you like the video make sure you like subscribe comment hit the notification bell so you can know when i'm posting and i'll see you guys in the next video peace